Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we'll mainly focus how to integrate Cucumber test with Jenkins. So in this video, we'll mainly cover how to download and install Jenkins, then create a Maven project in Jenkins, and finally, we'll execute pom.xml file from Jenkins. So I already uh, covered a detailed tutorial in Se uh, Selenium series where we have discussed how to configure Jenkins. So to download Jenkins, you need to simply specify download Jenkins. Just type this in Google. Just, just type Jenkins. You will get their official site Jenkins.io. So recently they have done so many major changes in the Jenkins so you will notice you will get a different kind of UI now. So click on download Jenkins you will get two options long term release and weekly release. I don't trust this weekly release so let's click on the long term support one. Once you click on it you will get a var file I already have so I will click on cancel. So once you get this var file I already have downloaded this var file. So if I have to start this Jenkins, I need to start command prompt. I have to say Java space hyphen jar and I will directly mention this var file. That's all. And hit enter. It will take hardly one minute and it will install Jenkins on your local machine. So once you get this complete uh, info section Jenkins is fully up and running then start any browser and type localhost colon 8080 so it will start this Jenkins so in this video description I will provide two video links uh, where we have discussed how to integrate Jenkins with Selenium So already we have configured this long back, but still if you are completely new, then you can go to this manage Jenkins. And uh, here you need to mention your Java, where your, where your Java is located and Maven. So only two things are required. So if you click on the first one, configure system, then we have a specified Java and Maven here. It's running on local host, it's a little bit slow. So all settings will remain same here. Only need to do is uh, if you go here. Is the Java and all. This is the email notification that you have to do. I'm using SMTP server details, my username, password, and so this is for the email notification. And uh, for the Java one, just check. Actually, they changed. So go to Manage Jenkins. Go to System Information. And uh, this is System Information. No. So in the new UI, you will find all the tools here. Previously, everything was in configure system. So in the recent Jenkins, they moved all these options to global tool configuration. So if you go to this global tool configuration, first thing that you need to set is the JDK. And then check this and mention where your Java is located. So in my machine right now, it is located at this particular location. Then you need to add Maven. So for me, I will uncheck this and Maven is located right now in this directory. That's all. To start with Jenkins, once your JDK is done, Maven is done, click on save and you can go back to the Jenkins homepage. I already have some jobs created, but let's create a fresh job and uh, let's create a Maven project. You can see there are four options. I will say Cucumber framework Let's select this maven project 
and click on OK. In the meanwhile, this is our test case. You can see this is the complete project that we have designed. So this is our feature file. This is smoke test and this is test runner. Right. So uh, let me run only one set of test case. I don't want to run all. So let me run this test case only once and rest piece of code is same. So in this, what we need to do, just go down and here you will find one option called build. Now it will check for this pom.xml file. And if you click on advanced option, you have all these options. So don't go with the advanced option. You need to specify where your pom.xml is located. Our pom.xml is located, if you go to your project, click on property. Our project is located under this directory, right? So I will go here and I will paste. And I'm instructing Jenkins that go to this directory. And in this directory, you will find pom.xml. And goals, you can say you want clean and install. So once you specify clean and install, that's all and click on save. And now if you run this project, so click on build now. So it will start uh, running your project and you can see it is building your project in this directory. That is your local directory. You can change it if you want. But let's not change anything. It will take some time and it will run your pom.xml. Yes, you can see. It's going to this directory. It is uh, running this pom.xml with this clean and install. <coughs> and rest piece of code will be same. It will not uh, change the execution behavior. The only thing which you will get, now you're able to run through Jenkins. Now, if, anybody, uh, if anyone want to run this, you can share this URL with them. They will directly click on build now and you can execute your test. So it is still starting your session. And yes. And our Chrome started. So once, okay, it's taking time. So let it run. Still, we have taken the old example. If you have some uh, real test cases, you can configure them as well. taking too much time still it is waiting it will run so our main motto was we have to execute this via Jenkins and we have executed so all the test record will be saved and you will get the result either pass or fail so if you want to configure some more settings like uh, you want to send an email once you are done with this, then if you go down. Yeah, so here you have the post build steps like uh, run only if build success or run regardless of build result. Then you can add all these build steps or else you can. Uh, this is like only if the build will fail, then you will get an email notification. So I can mention here. If any build fail, send me a test result on this email ID. So if any test fail or you can say any job will fail, I will get an email. So send email for every unstable build. That's all. If you click on OK or oh sorry, save. And you can see the previous test executed. Uh, if you go to console output, you will see one scenario executed and four steps. So now if you go here, yes, we had only four steps given then 
given when, then, and under the again, then. So we have four steps that already executed by Jenkins. So now you can see this is showing in a blue color, but an interesting fact about Jenkins, you have one plugin called green balls. So it will show you in a green uh, symbol if any of the test pass. To install that plugin, you can go to this manage Jenkins and uh, and do one thing. Let's, sorry. I want to show you one more thing. So let's, uh, Cucumber framework. So let's run this project at least once. So now go back to manage plugins if you want, like, if test pay, uh, if your job is successful, then you should get a green symbol, not this default blue color. So if you go to this plugin, if you go to available section, and search here, that plugin name is green balls. So if you simply type green, this uh, plugin name will come. So select this green balls and say install without restart. And it will take some time. It is checking the internet connectivity and all. And yes, green ball is installed. Now if you go back to your Jenkins and uh, still your test is running. But now you can see it is showing in a green color. So doesn't... Uh, blue doesn't look promising, so now it will show you either in a red color or in a green color. So let's refresh. Still running and you can see it's still running, so let's wait. Yes, now build is success. So now if you go to this Jenkins dashboard, you'll find this Cucumber framework. And you can see the te uh, test result trend. Right now, again, it uh, turned into blue. So what you need to do, you need to restart your Jenkins. And once you restart, you will notice all this will come in a green color. And this is the test uh, result trend. So based on the success or failure, it will automatically generate this graph. So that's all I have for this video. So just try to configure this Jenkins and try to run your Cucumber test via Jenkins. In future, I will show you some additional plugins which will help you to uh, generate its uh, report in more efficient way. So if you simply search Cucumber Jenkins plugin. So Jenkins already have so many inbuilt plugins for Cucumber. If you, the most effective one is second one cucumber report plugin so if you want to generate very advanced report then this plugin will help you and uh, you can see it will show you all these screenshots okay so you will get this kind of report and good thing you will see this uh, kind of 3d so right now we have not discussed tags. So you, if you are using tags, it will show you which tag has been pass failed. So you can see it's very cool reporting. So in future videos, we are going to implement the same report plugin. It's very handy to use. So if you want to use it uh, already, they have given some instructions. So you can directly follow it and you can directly use it. As of now, let's stick to the default execution. So yes, we have com uh, completed. So if you still have any doubt, you can send me an email. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.